cha Marriott ahagiye kuganirirwa ku ngamba zo kurwanya kanseri y'inkondo y'umura nk'imwe mu ndwara zandurira mu mibonano mpuza bitsina ni inama nubundi ya ikasa ikomeje harimo kurebwa uburyo izi ndwara zandurira mu mibonano mpuza bitsina ndetse na sida nayo ubwayo uburyo zishobora kwirindwa uburyo zishobora guhashywa zikaba zacika ku mugabane wa Afrika kanseri y'inkondo y'umura twagiye twigarukaho cyane kuri televiziyo y'u Rwanda tuziko ni indwara ishobora kwirindwa mu gihe waba wisuzumishije atari uko wabashije wenda kugira ikimenyetso na kimwe waba wabona mu gihe kanseri y'inkondo y'umura ibonwe hakirikare ubushobora bora kwivuza ugakira kandi ntigusigire nibindi bibazo ariko ni indwara nubundi ishobora no kwica nina marero yateguwe n'imiryango itandukanye harimo na numuryango wa Imbuto Foundation turi kumwe numwe mu bakozi ba Imbuto Foundation turi kumwe na Jackson Jackson ni tubahaye kaze mwaramutse neza mwaramutse neza murakoze kandi tukahoze wenda twashatse kureba gundi tuzi yuko inama irimo kureba ingamba zo kurwanya icyorezo cy'a sida gakoko gatera sida mu Afrika ariko n'izindi ndwara zishobora kwandurira mu mwonano n'umuzo bitsina muri zo harimo na kanseri y'inkondo y'umura iyi kanseri nk'imbuto foundation ni nk'ibihe bikorwa cyangwa se ibyo mukora mu rwego rwo kugira ngo abanyarwanda bayimenye abanyarwanda kaze by'umwerekwa abagore kubera ko niwe nabo bafite umura kugira ngo bayimenye se byo ko nabagabo nabo gwaye bashobora kwikwira kwiza nakoze wenda nagira ngo ntangirire ku ntego nyamakuru y'ibigano biriza kubera aha ngaha haturareba kufatanye bw'inzego zose mu kurwanya no kurinda iyi kanseri y'inkondo y'umura hanyuma ku kibazo rero warumbajije kigendanye no ko kwibaza mu ryango y'Imoto Foundation turakora iki mu bikorwa byacu bisanzwe by'ubuzima turafatanya n'inzego zitandukanye ministeri y'ubuzima na afite ibikorwa abandi bari mahanga ha hari united hari chai ngo ukora ubukangura mbaka kugira ngo abanyarwanda babashe kusobanukirwa no kumva ibyiyi ndwara ni indwara nkuko mwari mumaze kubivuga ishobora kwirindwa ariko akenshi abayirwaye cyangwa se abagiye abamaze kuyandura ari giye batinda kubona ibimenyetso bikaza bitinze iki gihe rero iyo twigisha abaturage kugira ngo bajye kwisuzumisha abamama by'umwihariko igihe ubonye kimenyetso kidasanzwe kuri weho wihutire kujya kwa muganga ubaze muganga kugira ngo ukushobora gusanga uki muri cyagihe ushobora kuvurwa byihuse ugakira iri muri ikiri ku rwego rwo hasi ku munsi wejo hahoze harimo kuganirwa ingamba z'ibihugu bitandukanye bya Afrika zafashwe mu nama y'umuryango wa Afrika yunze ubumwe harimo gushora imari mu bikorwa by'ubuvuzi mu rwego rwo kugira ngo ubwo buvuzi ababukeneye babubonere hafi ese wenda nta mbogamizi zaba zikigaragaramo wenda zuko kwisuzumisha kanseri wenda byaba bihenze cyangwa se bidasuzumirwa ahantu hari ho hose bikaba byatuma wenda abantu bayimenye yamaze kuba kanseri kandi yamaze kuba kanseri nyine birumvikana yuko akenshi zahazuhirwaye nibyo nibyo koko nkuko mubivuze yewe na kimwe mu bikorwa dukora nko muryango y'Ibuto Foundation mu rwego rwo kugira ngo i services zabashe kugerezwa abaturage fatanye na ministre sante turi kubaka amavuriro yibanze azabasha kugenda agera kuri rwa Kagari aya mavuriro ndetse na masantwe de santé cyangwa ibigondera buzima ni bimwe mu bizafasha gusuzuma izindwara ndetse n'izindi cyuvuze rero cyuko bigihenze ibyo nukuri ndetse no muza kuganirwa muri iyi nama no kugira ngo abantu barebere hamwe uburyo kikiguzi cyabyo kwisuzumisha cyangwa se cyo kwivuza cyagabanwa abatumye muri iyi nama bari mu ngeri zitandukanye yaba bakora izi nkingo imiti yaba bakora mu nzego z'ubuzima naho ndafutanya bikorwa kugira ngo ntabaganire kugira ngo icyo giciro kibashe kugabanuka kandi turizera ko bizashoboka cyane ko leta y'u Rwanda yateye intambwe kuri kanseri y'umura by'umwihariko kwikingira ry'abana kuyirinda tumaze kugera kugira kigero gishimishije ku buryo turi no mu bihugu bya mbere muri Afrika bimaze kugera kuri iki kigero tunifuza gusangiza amakuru ndetse nibyo twabashije kwiga nka leta y'u Rwanda muri cyo gikorwa umuti tugeze ku rugero rushimishije ni byiza cyane ariko aho turi ibyo byose ntago twahananira ko haguma turifuza kugera no handi heza kurushaho cyangwa se kongera gutera n'indi ntambwe ni yihe ni kihe cyerekezo urwanda rufite cyangwa se byumwe hari ko imbuto foundation nk'umufatanya bikorwa ukomeye mu gukora ubuvugizi mu gukora ubukangura mbaga ni kihe cyerekezo twavuga ngo mufite wenda muvuga muti turashaka wenda ko bigera kuri iyi mibare wenda se abana bakingirwa kanseri y'inkondo 
kubimura ku buryo ibyago byo kuzayirwara bizagabanuka hanyuma unaduhurize nanone nuko wundi bivugwa ko abafite abafite sida abafite ubwandu bwa gakoko gatera sida baba bafite ibyago byinshi byo kwandura iyi kanseri y'inkondo y'umura mu biduhuriza mutubwira ikerekezo mufite ariko nanone ni ngamba zaba zihari kugira ngo baba byeyi ko twabaze tubona ku munsi wejo batanga ubuhamya bashimira by'umwihari ku muryango Imbuto Foundation yabakoreye ubuvugizi ariko no kugira ngo nabo byaha byago bigabanuke ibyo kuba barwara iyi kanseri inkondo y'umura mm. nibyo intego ya mbere dufite birumvikana nuko nta munyarwanda uh, wakarwaye indwara wakwishwe ni indwara turifuza kwirandura Burundi ko ni indwara ishobora kwirindwa ni indwara kandi ishobora kuvurwa gakira igihe yamenyekanye hakiri kare birumvikana ko ari cyo twifuza intego duhuriyeho yaba twebwe nka Imbuto Foundation umufutanye bikorwa na na ministeri y'ubuzima nuko nta munyarwanda wakakwiye kwamburwa ubuzima ni indwara turakomeza ruko rukangura mbaga ndetse no muvugize muri zo nzego zitandukanye kugira ngo iki kibazo cyumvikane neza kuko kanseri inkondo y'umura ubushakashatsi bugaragaza ko ni imwe mu ndwara enye zica abatu ragi benshi muri Afrika kandi ari ya ndwara ishobora kuvurwa ishobora kwirinda birumvikana roko kwirinda kwigisha gukomeza gukangurira abantu kumenya ibyayo ni imwe mu ngamba dufite birumvikana kugira ngo tuzayirandure tuzayirwanye Burundi hanyuma ku cyumwe ari mukomojeho ni impamvu yahujwe no muri inama yiga ya ikasa yiga ku gako gatera sida nuko ubushakashatsi nanone bugaragaza ko aba bana nubwandu bwa koga terasida bafite ibyago byinshi byo kwandura iyi ndwara kandi urumva iyo bayanduye irabazahaza irabazahaza niyo mpamvu rwo twifuza ko nabo babimenya kugira ngo wanduye iyi ndwara ya kanseri y'inkondo y'umura abashe gukurikiranwa by'umwihariko yabana na koga terasida murakoze namwe Uri ro kabaye ari Jackson akaba ari umwe mu bakozi ba Imbuto Foundation umuryango Imbuto Foundation ukora ubuvugizi ukora ubukangura mbaga mu rwego rwo gufasha abafite akaga koko gatera sida no mu rwego rwo kwirinda uyi kanseri y'inkondo y'umura ariko sibyo gusa kuko bakora nubundi buvugizi cyane cyane mu rwego rwo guteza imbere ihame ry'uburinganire no guteza imbere umwana w'umukobwa cyangwa se kumwereka ko ashoboye no kumufasha mu rwego rw'amasomo ariko ntago yabasha kwiga ngo niteze imbere akibangamiwe n'izi ndwara kandi ziba zishobora kwirindwa kandi ziba zishobora gukurikiranwa umuntu akagira ubuzima bwiza Televiziyo Rwanda rero irakomeza kwa kubera nkuko twabibasezeranije n'ubundi muzabasha gukomeza kugenda mukurikirana izi nama uko zigenda ziba muracyari kumwe natwe mu kanyi gatumushitse mukuru arabahageze ubundi tukurikire nama nyine kubabera hano muri Marioti ahagiye gukomereza inama cyangwa se nibiganiro kubijyanye no kurwanya indwara ya kanseri y'inkondo y'umura iyi nama cyangwa se indwara ikunze kwibasira abagore gusa nyine mu bayikwirakwiza nkuko twagiye tubikurikira mu biganiro bitandukanye byamenye wirinde kuri televiziyo y'Rwanda nabagabo nyine bakaba bashobora kwikwirakwiza ari kubona ntago bashobora kurwara kanseri y'inkondo y'umura kuko nyine batagira iyo iyo nkondo y'umura 
kugira ngo tusobanukirwe n'uburyo bafashamo abaturage turi kumwe nabatumirwa batandukanye turi kumwe n'uwinkindi François akaba ari umuyobozi ushinzwe ishami ryo kurwanya cancer muri RBC cyo cy'igihugu cy'ubuzima tubahaye kaze mwaramutse neza murakoze um twagira ngo nda mutubwire cyane cyane kuri iyi ndwara wenda umuntu ashobora kuyumva mugani nkuko twa tumaze kubikomozaho umuntu akumva ko bireba gusa abagore ariko se wundi uruhare rw'umugabo wo baruruhe kuko tuzi ko iyi cancer y'umuntu ayisuzumishije hakiri kare agakurikiranwa hakiri kare abashobora kuvurwa kaba yakira ubundi uruhare ruri ku mugore gusa umugabo ntacyo bimurebaho oya navuga ko kurwanya cancer cyane cyane nk'ino y'inkondo y'umura yirango no herwa buri wese cyane cyane ntabwo twabigeraho umuryango dufatanije umugwe no mugabo badafatanije kuko urumva wenda duhereye nubyo cancer inkondo yo mura yandura ngira ngo cancer inkondo yo mura ni indwara yandurira mu mwana no mpuza bitsina umuntu akandura ka koko ka koko bita HPV iyo rero katabonetse iyo kata bitagaga yakiri kare ngo bivurwe bikire nibyo bifura gukomeza bikajyana kuri cancer inkondo yo mura urumva rero navuga yuko nkabagabo navuga kare bo bakwera kwiza ka koko gatera cancer inkondo yo mura ndetse n'ikindi urumva ko rero nibo nabadamu abakeneye ko abagabo babafasha muri rwa rugendo baba barimo bwo kujya kwisuzumisha bakabinkarigenga ndetse niye basanzwe ndafite ikibazo akamufasha kugira ngo azavurwe ibigende neza so navuga rero yuko rero ari uruhare rwa buri wese cyane cyane umugafatanije n'umugore kugira ngo abashe kurwanya ino cancer y'inkondo y'umura ese buri gihe niko hiye cancer y'inkondo y'umura yandurira mu mibono no mpuza bitsina eh twavuga yuko rero bya 1990 ni bice birindwe kwijana niko ushashatse bwerekanya yuko cancer y'inkondo y'umura iterwa na karaga kuko bita HPV kandi rero ntandi kandurira uretse mu mibono no mpuza bitsina turaongera tubabaze ariko twari tumaze kubwira abantu ko kugira ngo twumve buryo buno bukangurambaga bukorwa kuko ni ni indwara isaba ko hakorwa ubukangurambaga kugira ngo abantu bamenye uko yandura bamenye no kuyirinda kuko kuyirinda harimo no kuyisuzumisha hakiri kare reka tubanze twegere imakire uwiragiye tubahaye ikaze mwaramutse neza mwaramutse kare ko kuri televiziyo rwanda nakoze imakire uwiragiye ni umujyana ama wubuzima muri kabuga iyi kanseri y'inkondo y'umura umuntu yayimenye hakiri kare abashobora gukira mufashe iki abantu kugira ngo ibabe bayimenye hakiri kare nka abajyana ama wubuzima ngewe nchinzwe ubuzima bw'umubyeyi n'uruhinja dukangurira abagore cyane cyane abagore batwite kujya kwipimisha kare bakanabyarira kwa muganga kuko iyo abyariye mu rugo ashobora kugira ikibazo noneho cya kibazo kikaba cyamutere batamukurikiranye babyamubyarira ingaruka eh kandi tukabakangura nibyenanye no kurya indyo yuzuye no ni bababonye ikibazo kimubayeho akihutira kujya kwa muganga hakiri kare mujye mwibuka kubabwira yuko bashobora no kwisuzumisha kanseri inkondo mura yego ibyo nibyo tubabwira cyane kuko hari gihe nk'abana bagejeje mu gihe cy'imyaka 12 tubakangurira tukangurira ababyeyi kugira ngo bajye kubateza zirankye ngo babakingira hakiri kare za cancer y'inkondo y'umura bakazibatera abo abatabyumva tukakomeza kubaha ubukangura mbaga tubabwira ni ingaruka ishobora kuba babaho mu gihe badafashe rura rukingo ahanini usanga imboga mizi ziba ziri ku myumvire uyu munsi mubona ko imyumvire ihagaze ite imyumvire imyumvire iri kugendiza muri iki gihe mbere niho batabyumvaga neza bumvaka ko hari ikindi kibazo baba bari kubatera ariko ubu bari kugenda babyumva kuko barabyitabira cyane abana bageze muri cyo kiciro barabakingira bigakunda n'ababyeyi babigize mu ruhare yego ndeka wende ubwo turongera tukubaze reka tubanze twongere twegere uwinkindi François akaba ari umuyobozi ushinzwe ishami ryo kurwanya kanseri mu kigo cy'igihugu cy'ubuzima bari batu bakomoje ku kibazo cy'imyumvire myumvire kuko rumvikana niba iyi kanseri mu gihe yapimwe hakiri kare ikaboneka hakiri kare baba bashobora kwivura igakira ikibazo niba kiri ku myumvire ibyo ari byose bishobora gutinza ko twazakumira ku rugero rwanda rwifuza ku rugero afrika yifuza niki kintu mu gikora ho iki yakoze cyangwa ngo imyumvire ni ikintu gikomeye cyane mu kurwanya no kanseri y'inkondo y'umura urebye nk'imare tubona yabantu baza kwa muganga abenshi baza kanseri maze kubarenga ariko se uvuga yuko ari bwa bakibona ibimenyetso aba yerebonye hakiri kare wenda ntabimenye cyangwa se wenda yana bimenya akumva harimo abagitekereza ko kanseri inkondo y'umurara amaruzi cyangwa ari ibindi bindi akabanze kujya kwivuza wenda kuri babavuzi ba 
navuga bagakundo nima yikwe na twa twa bita bajya mu bagorozi none wenda ayabona bidakunza kandi bwaza kwa muganga akaza kanseri maze kumurira ko kanseri aho ibera mbi itangira wenda ifata yahaye ya nkondo y'umura mu gihe itavuga kirekare ngo ikire irenga ya nkondo y'umura ikataka ikajya no kwenda ibice by'umubiri amagufa ibihaha umwijima na ntandu wose atandukanye none ko umuntu aje cyo gihe kanseri maze kumurenga kandi cyo gihe yo aje kwa muganga icyo gihe ntacyo biba bikimumariye navuga yuko icyo dukora yenda nuko umugabanyiriza kubabara cyangwa ndi tukamufasha kugira ngo wenda abeho neza mu misi ye ya nyuma kuko cyo gihe aho yaba ari wose ni yaba ari buraye ntago iyo kanseri iba ikivuye ngikire icyo rwo dukora ubu ngure ukangura mbaga navuga yuko turi kugerageza gukora ba bantu babana ba bantu babana n'abaturage umusi kundi harimo ngira ngo imakara kugwe abajyana mu buzima dukora naho kuri yari ba bantu mu yagiye kwigisha ibindi by'imirire uryo barera abana ubyo bajya bute akavuga no kuri ya kanseri ngo ndoyimura twakora nani hizego zibanze mu muganda mu gihe umuganda urangiye bajye kuganira kuri bitandukanye kuryo bavuga muri tsana kanseri nkwe numura cyane cyane ndetse n'izindi kanseri tubijyanisha n'izindi ndwara standard ibitangaza makuru bitandukanye za social media so ubu ngutu gushaka gukora ukabambaga bwimbitse kuburyo ndetse twatanye no korana n'izi navuga company zizitumanaho uburyo abantu buri giye kwa kundi tuhereza message benda ngo habaye kintu iki kuryo tukwabwira yuko kanseri nkwe ndo y'umuntu rwose ishora kwirindwa dukingije abana bacu ndetse twisuzumishije hakirika navuga yuko ukangura mbaga rero navuga yuko ntago turajya handi twifuza no rugendo twatangiye dushaka yuko twakorana n'abantu bose batandukanye ariko twifuza cyane cyane ba bantu neza bagera ku muturage handi bari mu cyaro niho tubona ukangura mbaga gutameze neza rero navuga yuko rero no gukoresha uburyo bwose butandukanye ku buryo tugeza ya message ku muturage akabasha kubimenya kirika ari kuko noneho ndetse n'ikindi amavuro yacu nayo tukareba neza yuko yiteguye kwakira aba bantu twakangure kuza kwisuzumisha navuga yuko nkungu wenda gukingira bimeze neza uba twatangira muri 2011 nyega kukungu uturi mu bihugu kwisi bifite navuga imari meze neza ijyanye no kukingira icyo nacyo turakigaruka uko no mu bakingirwa birumvikana nyine ni babana batoya kugira ngo bagabanyirizwe ibyago byo kuba bazandura kanseri ariko kuba iyi kanseri imakire kuba iyi kanseri ishobora gukira mu gihe umuntu yayisuzumishije hakiri kare yeguye yatangiye kugira umenyetso runaka iba irimo kugenda ikura ariko abajyana mu buzima ni bamwe mu bantu bizerwa n'abaturage nejo nahoze harabo twahoze turimo kuganira bakavuga bati umujyana mu buzima iyo umubwiye ikibazo cyawe cy'uburwayi nta hantu uzabyumva yabivuze rero bituma nyine mufite ubuke kizere muri haba hari nk'ibimenyetso wenda muzi umuntu ashobora kuza akakubwira ati ko ndimo ndabona ibi bintu kuri nge ntabisobanukiwe kuburyo wenda wahita umubwira uti nyamara genda wisuzumisha wenda ko ari kanseri inkondo y'umura aho kugira ngo ni umubwira uti genda je ku kigo ndera buzima wenda batangire basuzuma ibindi bazibuke kuba basuzuma ya kanseri inkondo y'umura byararengeranye haba hari nk'ibimenyetso wenda uzi ushobora kuvuga uti oya niba iki kimenyetso wakibonye genda bagusuzume kanseri inkondo y'umura ibimenyetso ntaga ari byinshi umuntu yamenya ariko hari nk'ikimenyetso hari nibi binashobora gukubwira nta gushobora guhita umubwira ngo ushobora kuba urwaye wenda kanseri inkondo y'umura ushobora kuvuga ati ico kibazo ko cyaba ari kibi wenda ashobora gukubwira ndi wenda nshobora kuba mva cyane cyangwa mfite ibizo wenda bisoka wenda mu myanya ndanga gitsina wabyumva gutyo kuvuga ati ikiza nuko nakwandikira ga transfer ukabishyiraho kwa muganga akagenda byihutigo kwa muganga bakamurebera icyarwaye kuko ngewe nago namubwira ngo rwaye kintabizi oya nyine wenda kuba wamubwira uti ariko mu byo wisuzumisha niki nacyo kisuzumisha ni kubera iko hateye ingwara nyinshi yego reka mpandikira ga transfer uje kwa muganga bakurebere hakiri kare kuko kwivuza indwara iyo yari yose ni byiza hakiri kare ukamwohereza kwa muganga mufite uburenganzira bwo kwa mwakwandika transfer umuntu mukamwandikira transfer yego dufite transfer dufite udutabo nyine twandikamo umujyana mu mubuzima iyo yandikiye umurwayi aragenda bagata bamwantira vuba iyo binabaye byiza ufite umwanya ukamuherekeza aragenda bagata bamwabikira byihuse kandi bagahita bakurikirana cyacyo bazafite yego wow ni byiza cyane ereka ibi birahita bidufasha nanone kureba ubumenyi muha abajyana mu buzima kuko ni inama zabaye ku munsi wejo bahoze barimo kugaragaza uruhare rukomeye cyane rw'abajyana mu buzima rw'abafasha myumvire ariko nanone mu rwego rwo gushora imari mu bikorwa by'ubuvuzi 
Rwanda mu rwego rwo kwishakamo ibisubizo birumvikana rwashyizeho abajyana mu buzima ku buryo bamwe baturanye nagira ikibazo ashobora kwegera mu jyana mu buzima imakire yaratubwiye ati dushobora kubandikira transfer cyangwa se tukaba twabaherekeza aba bajyana mu buzima mu rwego rwo kugira ngo basobanukirwe ku ndwara runaka reka turebe kuri cancer inkondo y'umura iri muzica cyane zibasiye abagore kandi nanone iri muzishobora kwirindwa mu gihe bisuzumishije hakiri kare ubumenyi mubongerera mubongerera ubuhe bumenyi kugira ngo nabo bafashe abandi eh murakoze cyane icyo tubabwira ntago tubabwira ngo basuzume cancer inkondo y'umura cyangwa icyo tubabwira ni imyeso bya cancer inkondo y'umura ku buryo hari gize ukibona ba mukangura kuja kwa muganga byihuse none none ikindi rero ntago tunashaka ko bategereza kugira bya bimenyetso banisuzu mushake ko bafite n'ikibazo n'ubuze reka toshimire rimwe mwese twakomeje kubona dushimira cyane Francois Winkindi ndetse na Imakire uwiragiye bari barimo kudufasha gusobanukirwa hi cancer y'inkondo y'umura twabareka none ho mugakomeza mukurikira hi inama higiye kubera hano muri Marriott ahagiye gukomeza ibiganiro byiga ku buryo bwo kurwanya hi cancer y'inkondo y'umura nkimwe mu ndwara zandurira mu mihono no mpuza Excellencies, First Ladies, Honorable Ministers, Ladies and Gentlemen, good morning and welcome. Please note that simultaneous translation will be offered. Channel 1 for English, Channel 2 for French, and Channel 3 for Kinyaranda. Veuillez noter qu'un service de, tra de traduction simultanée vous est offert via vos casques. Utilisez le canal 1 pour l'anglais, le canal 2 pour le français et le canal 3 pour le Kinyarwanda. Dufitu vuse muzi mundi meshatu, ikyo ngereza ni kuri rimwe, igifaransa kuri kabiri, ikinyarwanda kuri gatatu. My name is Natasha Butera and I will be your MC for today. Today's session is on prevention of cervical cancer, which claims 90% of its victims in low and middle income countries. And women living with HIV are up to 10 times more likely to develop can cervical cancer compared to women not living with HIV. To begin our program, I would like to invite to the podium for opening remarks, Madame Marisol Touraine, Board Chair of UNITAID, which has been at the forefront of cancer, cervical cancer prevention. She is also the former French Minister of Social Affairs and Women's Rights. Thank you, Your Excellency, First Lady of Rwanda, Your Excellencies, First Ladies, Honorable Minister of Health, dear Diane, Honorable Ministers, uh, Heads of Delegations and Dear Partners and NGOs, ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure to welcome you today to uh, this UNITES event organized with the support of the Minister of Health of Rwanda and the Foundation in Bhutto. First, I want to thank Her Excellency First Lady, Mr. Mrs. Kagame, for her strong commitment to uh, health issues and universal health coverage, and more specifically to the fight against cervical cancer. And it's my pleasure to see again here in her country, Her Excellency Minister of Health, Diane Geshumba, and express her my gratitude for her excellent relationships with UNITED, because we're doing a great job together. We are today facing many challenges in global health, and we know that. Despite the progress made in access to health, at least half of the world's population still doesn't have full coverage of essential health services. In some countries, the lack of primary health care centers is still an obstacle to the reduction of health inequalities. In others, such as Rwanda, who makes an impressive effort to implement such primary health care centers, the need for financial investment remains extremely important. Access to health and health care facilities and to professionals 
skilled professionals remain a priority for all countries, mainly African countries, and this access is too often unequal depending on where you were born and where you live. Such situations are devastating because the consequences are not acceptable and concern, I would like to say, once again, mainly women. Every year, half a million women are affected by cervical cancer. I won't talk about the general situation of women regard to uh, the health situation, only about the cervical cancer since it's the issue we are talking and debating uh, this morning. Uh, half a million women are affected by cervical cancer all around the world. 300,000 of them die every year. And most of those 3,000 women dying live in low or middle income countries, which is a real um, unsupportable and unacceptable situation we have to face and tackle. What does it mean and what does it imply? It means that we have to increase our efforts to give access to treatments. But it also means that facilitating access to health is not only a question of medical situation, medical innovation. It is also a social and political issue. Reducing inequality helps reducing avoidable mortality. I would even say that reducing inequality is a necessary condition if we want to reduce avoidable mortality. That requires a strong political leadership and will. Facing these issues, UNITED is committed to be part of the response. As you may know, UNITED's tagline is innovation. We see, as I used to say, we see ourselves as positive disruptors, seeking to better define ways and concrete solutions to prevent, treat, and diagnose HIV infections, TB, and malaria more affordably, effectively, and quickly. Very concretely, UNITED turns game-changing ideas in very practical solutions that are scaled up by governments and partners. Looking forward, UNITED is investing in innovations that simplify and improve the diagnostic and treatment of HPV, the leading cause of cervical cancer, which disproportionately affects women living with HIV, as it was just reminded. And UNITED also supports social innovations which helps to reach the people who need the treatment. I strongly believe and we strongly believe at UNITED that we cannot succeed without the civil society and the communities. And success is possible. Success is reachable. Rwanda proves it. That's one of the reasons why we value so much our partnership with your country, Mrs. First Lady. Rwanda decided to provide free HPV immunization to all girls between 11 and 15 years old and has now immunized over 97% of girls, which is an extremely important and impressive result we can all can applause. Cervical cancer prevention is one of UNITED's most important projects we have with Rwanda. Thanks to the grant signed with the CHAI initiative, I, we hope to be able to provide test and treatment for less than one dollar. Less than one dollar. And that is extremely important. The time has not come yet for an evaluation. We're just launching the project together. But our expectations are very high, and we hope that we will be uh, able to prove that success once again is possible. Thanks to the commitment of President Kagame and of the First Lady of Rwanda, 
Rwanda was recognized by UNITED as champion of innovation acceleration in health. We deeply hope that our cooperation can continue with Rwanda on many other projects. Once again, such an example shows how partnerships are at the core of collective responses we need to bring to those issues. This is only with the commitment of all, including, of course, governments, international organizations, foundations, civil society, that we will fight efficiently and equitably against such issues. I remain convinced that coordinated efforts from all parties on all fronts, medical, social, political, are the best response we can bring together. Thank you to all of you for your commitment and your work. Thank you for your attention, and I wish you a very pleasant event. Thank you, Madame Touraine. I now have the honor to invite Her Excellency, Madame Jeannette Kagame, the First Lady of Rwanda, to the stage for her keynote address. Uh, thank you, Natasha. <coughs> Excellencies, dear sisters, chers sœurs, Hinda Debi Ipno, Première Dame de la République du Tchad, Aïssa Issoufou Mahmoud, Première Dame de la République du Niger, Neo Jane Massisi, First Lady of the Republic of Botswana, Madame Marisol Touraine, Présidente de l'Unité, Honorable Ministers and Government Officials, Distinguished Partners and Panelists, Esteemed ladies and gentlemen, good morning. As I begin, allow me to express my gratitude at seeing all of you gathered here today for this high level discussion on effective partnerships for cervical cancer prevention held at the, in the margin of the 20th ICASA. This highly preventable disease which touches on a sensitive aspect of uh, women's health is one of the surely deserve more is one that surely deserves more attention from the general public public as it has been the subject of misguided views that turned out to be detrimental to the early detection and prevention of this cancer. Today's event therefore affords us another opportunity to reflect on our shared responsibilities, being uh, civil society, public or private sectors, to invest in evidence-based guidelines supported by technical know-how in designing interventions aimed at uh, eliminating some of the biggest threats affect affecting our sustainable development. And here I would like to commend the partnership spearheaded by the government of Rwanda, Unit Aid, the Clinton Health Access uh, Initiative for the new cervical cancer program, which will focus on screening and treating adult women living with HIV and AIDS. This new cancer prevention program will, sc will screen over 70,000 women aged 30 to 49 using HPV DNA testing as well as uh, visual inspection with acetic acid while treating cervical precancerous lesions with thermoablation devices. Through my foundation in Bhutto, the needed community awareness and mobilization efforts will be conducted in the five districts of the pilot phase, scheduled to run for the next two years and a half. Honorable guests, according to WHO, cervical cancer is the fourth most common cancer among women worldwide. And in Africa, it ranks the second, and it's far deadlier than elsewhere, despite being a preventable disease. Today, Rwanda is among high burdens 100,000 women. That's uh, 1,304 new cases, and a mortality rate of 
one per 100,000, and those translate into 921 deaths, as observed, as, uh, as observed by WHO in 2018. Consequently, we are increasingly strengthening our health systems, availing the necessary equipment for diagnosis and treatment in over 50% 50, 50 of our community level health centers and tertiary hospitals ac across the country, building the capacity of healthcare providers, including home-based care practitioners and specialized training for university students while educating Rwandans through awareness raising campaigns. Moreover, through our community health insurance scheme, the Mutual de Santé, women can be screened for cervical cancer during their annual checkup. The and commitment to prevent further cases of cervical cancer also led us to our 2011 nationwide vaccination plan. And thanks to the to collective efforts of different partners, many of whom are with us today. And active involvement of the community, more than 93% of girls from the age of 12 were vaccinated against HPV. Distinguished guests, it's very essential to protect these efforts and ensure proper early screening and treatment services are accessible to our population. And these require all of us in our different capacities to jointly develop financing mechanisms to leverage technologies that will strengthen our health systems and require required infrastructure. Honorable ladies and gentlemen, women living HIV with HIV are up to, um, echoing what was said before, to 10 times more likely to develop cervical cancer, making cervical cancer a major threat to the health of women living with HIV. My organization, Ibuto Foundation, has been engaged in developing and implementing pioneer initiatives in health, offering a comprehensive package of services to families affected by HIV, and promoting the rights of our young people to be informed and access quality prevention and treatment services. And with these efforts, combined with community education and social mobilization efforts, we are working towards addressing the existing gap, enriching adult women, and eliminating any more death caused by cervical cancer. Pour distinguer les invités pour conclure, permettez-moi de réitérer que nos sociétés ne doivent se doivent d'analyser les causes sous-jacentes que ce type de, de ce type de cancer. Certes, celles-ci sont génétiques et environnementales. Mais nous devons aussi reconnaître que les cas de cancer qui sont détectés à un stade avancé résultent d'un manque d'informations suffisantes ou d'accès aux méthodes de prévention existantes ainsi qu'à des inégalités basées sur le genre des patientes qui en souffrent. Nous ne le répéterons jamais assez. L'élimination du cancer du col de l'utérus est possible. Cependant, il requiert des partenaires plus forts, des partenariats plus forts au niveau mondial, comme l'objet de cet événement le suggère. Je fais donc appel à vous, présents aujourd'hui, afin de continuer à mobiliser des ressources pour le développement du capital humain et la mise en place de systèmes infaillibles en vue d'atteindre et maintenir nos objectifs. Je vous remercie de votre aimable attention. Thank you, Madam First Lady. I will now invite our distinguished panelists to the stage, beginning with Honorable Dr. Hala Zaid, Minister of Health and Population of Egypt. Dr. Joël Mouviridi, the Executive Director of Partners in Health. Dr. Pacific Mugenzi, head of the Cancer Center of the Rwanda Military Hospital. <laughs> and
and Ms. Sidonie Uimuhe, Country Director of the Clinton Health Access Initiative. Thank you. Thank you very much. So our focus today is the partnerships required for cervical cancer prevention. I'd like to start with you, Minister Zaid. Egypt conducted a successful campaign against hepatitis C, um, the hepatitis C virus. Can the same approach be used when it comes to controlling cervical cancer? Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Your Excellency, First Lady uh, Janet, Madam Janet Kagami. Good morning, Excellencies, First Ladies of uh, Chad, uh, Botswana, Niger, and uh, good morning, uh, everybody. Uh, thank you for inviting me for this. Um, thank you for inviting me for this uh, very important. Um, session and greetings from Egypt for all the African countries. Actually, uh, Egypt succeeded uh, in uh, to screen more than 60 million uh, Egyptians from hepatitis C in seven months. Uh, uh, it was Egypt was the first country worldwide in the highest prevalence in virus C. Now we are about uh, to announce, and WHO about to announce Egypt eliminated from virus C. <laughs> How can we uh, exchange our experience to our sisters and brothers in the, our continent, Africa, and to all the world? I think, firstly, uh, the political commitment. The first and the crucial issue to screen people from the health challenges is a political commitment. Uh, and uh, to control some diseases, especially the cervical cancer. Egypt, uh, uh, the, the problem in Egypt is not cervical cancer, it's breast cancer. That's why we conducted a national uh, program to screen ch uh, women from uh, breast cancer because breast cancer in Egypt is the second cause of death of for female in Egypt. But there is a common issues we can use to screen people from cervical cancer, for example. Before screening, we need to identify and to, um, to know our resources. Because if you screen people, you have to guarantee the treatment and the follow-up, the investigation. You, you have to have affordable treatment, affordable investigation. You, ha you have to have a strong network in, the, uh, in your country, and you have to train your resources or human resources. The social workers is very important. The nurses is very important, are very important in, uh, uh, in these uh, models of campaigns. So uh, the, the second issue that we need to uh, focus on, uh, which is we can share in any type of campaign, it is a database and the software. We need to register all the female. We need to know that the high risk group. We need to identify, we need to uh, uh, set a very comprehensive database that based on this database, we can target specific uh, women and uh, specific population. Uh, so the experience of Egypt to uh, conduct and to achieve the uh, hepatitis C campaign started with a network, high network, very comprehensive network from uh, hepatitis C centers, affordable diagnostics, pre-qualified from WHO, affordable investigations and the treatment, uh, partnership between society, social societies and uh, and uh, NGOs and private sector. 
So we used all the labs all over the world, uh, all over the country, uh, to screen and to uh, um, investigate people. Um, then uh, the, the affordable treatment. If we don't have affordable treatment, then we cannot tell people you have a problem, but we cannot treat you or follow up you. This is very, very, very crucial. Before screening, you need to have affordable diagnostics, follow up, investigation and treatment, and well-trained stuff. So uh, with this type of, uh, of uh, experience, we can share any type of, uh, we can conduct any type of uh, uh, screening according to the, um, the special needs for each country. The experience of Rwanda is very, very, very important experience we need to, le to learn. But in, uh, we have in different, uh, according to our uh, uh, countries, we, have, we need to adjust the model according to our capability, according to our resources, according to the culture of people. The culture in Egypt is different from culture of Rwanda, from Ethiopia, from Kenya. A lot of, uh, we need to adjust the model according to the culture of population. So, but, but before uh, ending my talk, we need to learn from each other. We need to build on our experience. We need to share our experience, and then we need to adjust the model according to uh, our population. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, thank Minister you. Zaid. Um, thank you for reminding us the importance of um, embarking multiple partners on this journey to have um, successful um, programs like the mass, uh, mass um, hepatitis C screening, and that it has to be country specific, but that means we also need to collaborate all together for results. Thank you very much. So my next question goes to Dr. Muridigi, the Executive Director of Partners in Health. So Partners in Health established the first ever um, cancer center in Rwanda. What are the lessons learned for fighting cervical cancer? Thank you, thank you, Natasha, um, for the question. Um, when you are running a treatment center in a rural place, and uh, especially when you are dealing with a compl complex disease like um, cancer, the lessons that you learn are many, and they are daily. Uh, let me set the, uh, the, the, the picture that way. But let me s summarize some of those lessons into three categories. Um, the first category is around planning and setting your expectations. When we started jointly with the Ministry of Health in the Ministry of Health Hospital in Butaro in 2012, treating cancer, that first year we had um, 63 new cases of cervical cancer. The following year, the number doubled to 140. In the last two years, we have been receiving nearly near to 200 new cases. Um, uh, per year. And that is happening without a systematic screening going on, ne neither without a widely uh, publicity and so forth. Then 50% of them are presenting less, 50% or more are, are presenting late, in late stage. There already is, I would say, two lessons. One, that um, a, a systematic uh, uh, screening approach that is into the routine is urgently needed and are happy with the program that is being jointly launched with uh, UNITAID and, and, and CHAI because the 50% or more of late stage presentation is unacceptable. Um, but secondly, we need also to have the treatment centers ready to welcome uh, those numbers. So through the years we had to, you know, as an emergency, adding on infrastructure, adding on building, adding on staff and so forth. So a better plan uh, regarding that also uh, is needed. The second category of um, lessons is around the complexity of managing cervical cancer, which is multi multidisciplinary, uh, from surgery, mental health, um, um, uh, imaging, uh, radiation, and so forth. 
and in our context with the scarcity of um, those uh, expertise, rely on different institutions where those specialities are present. So very quickly we had to build relationship and network within different hospitals in Rwanda, mainly with uh, Rwanda Military Hospital, um, uh, uh, King Faisal, Siashika, so that we help our patient getting different services on those places. But that also required to have patient navigators, people who will help the patient going through those process smoothly. Um, the other aspect of, uh, of that as well is building also partnership with external partners. Uh, in our case, with the um, American uh, Society of Clinical Pathologists and other centers uh, in the US, really building uh, that relationship that build the capacity of our nurses, um, general practitioner, pathologists, and other. The third category of lessons is around the cost itself. Um, cancer treatment is extremely expensive. Uh, extremely expensive to the point where, you know, even middle income household um, are at risk to uh, be candidate for poverty even, for poverty even after the few first cycle of chemotherapy and so forth. So how do we build a support, a system that supports uh, the patients so that they don't encounter uh, catastrophic expenditure, but also how do we help the facility that provide the service sustain their operations? There also there is um, um, big uh, questions to really think uh, carefully as, as, as we build that up. So um, in summary, I would say, you know, setting uh, uh, realistic expectation and planning for them, um, building a network of, uh, of uh, different centers that share data and sh uh, with eff efficient uh, uh, communication, helping the smooth uh, movement of the patient, and also working on the cost for the people, uh, because the cost is too high for them to, to handle. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Mubiniki. Um, thank you once again for echoing uh, the importance of uh, partnerships, just like Minister Zaid uh, mentioned. Um, another thing you mentioned that was important is uh, patient navigators that ensure um, treatment adherence and uh, diminish the cases of loss to follow up. So thank you. Um, my next question goes to Dr. Mugenzi. Um, Dr. Mugenzi, you lead the new cancer center at Randa Military Hospital. Um, how can we ensure timely diagnosis and treatment of cervical cancer? Thank you, Natasha. Um, after the picture painted by uh, Dr. Mubirigi, it's, 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 it's clear to all of us that uh, timely diagnosis and uh, treatment is key to measure the success of any cancer center. But also, it has a direct impact on the survivorship, which, which is our main goal when we're trying to do our best to treat uh, cervical cancer or any type of cancer for that matter. So it's, it's, it's very important that it, at the onset, while setting any, any cancer intervention that has to be at the back of your mind, Luckily for, the, for cervical cancer, we, we, we often refer to the main challenge as, as lack of uh, fancy equipment, but in this particular case, other than the radiotherapy equipment which the country now has, uh, we, we, I am of the view that within our means, with what we have now, we can achieve a lot. It requires a higher level of, of organization. So basically, in, 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 in a nutshell, if, if, if we were that organized, what we want to see is to, to be able to, we've, we've, we spoke a lot about prevention, about screening, we should be able to be in a position as a cancer center or as any center that's providing diagnosis and treatment, to be able to pick up those are at risk or those are identified to have the disease immediately. So the, someone who's doing the prevention or the screening should know immediately how, who to call when there's, there's any, any suspicious patient. So from that point on, then it, it's diagnosis. Most of the time it involves a knowledgeable clinician, involves a couple of tests, which uh, will 
at one stage involve a histopathological lab, which Joel mentioned the, the partnership. After that, you then take the patient through staging. You need to know what, how far the cancer has gone in order for you to be able to, to, to tailor the treatment to the particular patient. And that, most of the time, doesn't involve equipment. Cervical cancer is one of the diseases that can be staged clinically. So again, it shows that with the proper organization, we can do a lot. And then only in few cases that you need fancy equipment, and then you move on to treatment, which involves either surgery for early cases or chemotherapy uh, and radiotherapy. So that's, that's what we've been uh, uh, preparing our center to be able to, to provide. And uh, we've only started, we're at the early stage of establishment. We only started offering services around about March this year. Uh, and it came as no surprise that uh, cervical cancer clients constitute you know, the bulk of uh, our, the patient that we see. So, so far we've treated, over the course of nine months, we've treated around 300 patients and uh, almost 25% of the cases were, were, were cervical cancer. We're talking about 87 patients uh, treated so far. And, and we're still trying to improve uh, uh, our, our act, which is still trying to put together our, our act. And we have, uh, we, one of the things we need to make sure that is on, on top was a proper uh, software that's guiding us, not only showing us how well or bad we are doing, and that can allow us to, to, to improve uh, our services. So that, that's why, for example, over the nine months, we just did a, a survey for all the cases we saw. So the waiting time from a referral to our center to starting the treatment is seven days. If we can maintain that, that would be a very, accept, more than acceptable, actually, uh, factor. So, so I think what I'm trying to say here is that within what we have, we need to, so we've, we, we're trying to establish multidisciplinary teamwork. This involves getting the specialists who are involved in, in management of cervical cancer to be able to see the patient in one setup. And that contributes a lot in shortening the time between diagnosis and, and, and treatment. So, it's, so beyond that, that's, that's at a, a clinical level, but at the hospital level or multi-hospitals getting together, we establishing tumor boards which are functional in most of the main hospital. So it's, it's, it's clear that we need a close collaboration between not only the referral hospitals, but also, for example, the, 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 the collaboration with the hospital of Butaro, which as Dr. Mubiegi mentioned, was the, one of the centers that was actually the only center that was setting, set, sending patients abroad for, for treatment that was then not available in Rwanda. So I'm happy to mention that our collaboration is allowing us to, to shorten, to provide timely treatment and to patients who are deserving it the most. And they also providing some of the supportive uh, measures that are required because uh, more often we know that cancer is not just a disease of one patient. It's a disease of the family. It's a disease of the community. When we talk about cervical cancer, it's, it's even beyond. We're talking about, because most of the patients we see are at young age, they still have kids to look after. So uh, Butaro is one of the centers that has also been trying to chip in and trying to get whatever necessary for the patient to get the treatment. So in, in, in summary, I would say we, even though we are not anywhere near where we want to be, but we are on the right path, and uh, I have no doubt we will, we will achieve it within I mean, if you look at uh, the, the support from the leadership or other organizations that are trying to partner with us to uh, address this cancer issue, it's, it's, it's clear that we should uh, be near to where we want to be in, in, in short term. And uh, one of those initiatives, I would also like to mention that uh, there is an initiative some of you maybe have, have, have heard about, which is Kigali City Cancer Challenge. This is an initiative under the, 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 the patronage of the UICC, uh, Union for uh, Cancer Control, Union, un, inter, Union for International Cancer Control. We've been able to identify, and this, this activity involves everyone from the community to all the way to the policymakers. So we just completed uh, 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 
our initial phase, which was assessment, and we're now moving on to, to the implementation phase. I'll be happy to mention that if you look at the, the, the key priorities that were identified, I, I, they, they, they actually address all the steps from screening all the way to palliative care. So that's also some partnership that we hope we'll be able to optimize. So again, it's all about collaboration. I would like to end here quoting uh, an African proverb that says that if you want to go far, go alone. If you want to, if you, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Mugenzi. You mentioned uh, a key point of um, even if the treatment is costly, it is still doable with a well-organized team using a multidisciplinary approach and uh, having key partnerships such as working with the Wutaro Hospital. Thank you very much. So this leads me to my question to Ms. Sidoni Uimue, the country director of CHAI. Could you tell us a bit more about the exciting program on cervical cancer prevention that CHAI is launching in partnership with uh, UNITAID here in Rwanda? Sure, uh, Natasha, thank you very much. But I really think that, uh, Your Excellency, you have done a great job in explaining what this program is all about and, and Honorable Marisol. So I think that my job is actually done. I should go back and see it. <laughs> but but um, what we are really uh, trying to do is to make this whole um, uh, treatment and screening opportunities available to women. And I actually wanted to share this uh, experience or a story of this woman. She, she's called Georgette. And Georgette, is, uh, she's a woman that I really love. She's uh, a best friend of my mother, have worked together for several years in the Ministry of Education. And um, I went to see her recently and found out that she has uh, cervical cancer. And what she told me, she's really a woman with um, a lot of humor. And she told me that, you know, Sido, I would really like to be born again. But really born again, not like the Christianity born again, but to literally be born again so she can benefit from these uh, opportunities that are out there, there that needs them the most. Or actually even to ourselves here. The same people we're talking about probably is even here in this room sitting with us. It's, it's a reality. And until you really go get screened and know if you have HPV or not, or see if you have the lesions, if they have developed or not, then you really never know. So what this program is doing uh, in, in actually seven countries, and thank you very much for United, because over the seven countries that we are going to start this, six of them are in Africa. So it's really very good, and it's, it's, it's commendable from, from uh, United to have allowed us, Chai, to really focus in Africa to pilot these different innovations. So the countries include, uh, include Rwanda, uh, it includes Kenya, uh, Nigeria, South Africa, uh, Malawi, Zambia, and then uh, India. I think those are the seven countries you are starting with. And what you are doing is really uh, like bringing new, four new, I would call it four new um, solutions or innovations. So one is really uh, introducing the HPV DNA test as a first screening to know if women have uh, a, um, a human papilloma virus into their body. And then to go through a certain protocol that is defined according to WHO guidelines. And then if women have developed precancerous lesions, really precancerous lesions, then to go ahead and treat them. So we are introducing some treatment uh, uh, devices and making them available at the health facility, really at the primary health care. We are going to start at the, at the health center level and make sure that the, the, the health centers uh, are very ready, trained, and they know how to take care of these different devices and so on and so forth. But really to make sure that as soon as we know that women have developed certain precancerous lesions, we can treat them by thermal ablation. And those who have got advanced lesions, then they can move further to the referral level and get some lip uh, treatment at the district hospital level. And we anticipate that as we identify multiple women and we screen them, 
we will identify probably some advanced cases that will need services at the centers that, that, uh, that uh, Pacific was talking about or Joel was talking about. So the program is really trying to, to put in place a certain partnership framework to make sure that women are followed through throughout the cascade of care. But more importantly, we are really putting women at the center and as Her Excellency has really mentioned, we are working with the civil society um, uh, organizations, Imbuto Foundation, a network of community-based organizations that are out there based in the communities who live with the women, who can really get to the health system the feedback that they need. You know, we can sit and feel that, okay, I can bring um, a thermoablation treatment, but women maybe will not accept it. So we believe that there is one, uh, the awareness that needs to be built, as Her Excellency has mentioned, but also it needs to be accepted by women. We want to make sure that we collect the feedback and that we take that into consideration as we continue to iterate and, 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 and prototype the, 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 the entire solution. So basically that's what we are doing, but really where we are aiming, uh, where we are getting is, is what Honorable Marisol has said, we think that in one year, two years to come, we might really have a revolutionary screening method that will allow to, to screen, like Lily, literally screen a woman. In five minutes, you screen a woman, you treat a woman, and all of that under one dollar. So we think that is going to be really very revolutionary and it uses some sophisticated um, artificial intelligence sort of algorithm um, and uh, we is currently going uh, undergoing a certain clinical trial with some coordinated researchers in some of the countries I've mentioned and we are hopeful that in two years to come these devices is called the um, automated visual evaluation I believe will really be introduced to then probably reinforce or strengthen the HPV testing that I'm talking about to really make it very, very affordable, very accessible to literally everyone. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Wimuhe. This program sounds very exciting um, because it is bringing sophisticated technology at the health center level to reach the most in need and ensuring that it's done at an affordable cost. And uh, the component where the awareness of the community is taken into consideration is crucial to, to the uptake of whatever intervention is implemented. So thank you for that. Um, my next question applies to all of you. How can we reduce the cost of the HPV vaccine, a vaccine that protects against cervical cancer? Um, I will start with you on what you have to say about this. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let me to start again with, uh, with the awareness, because the awareness is very important, uh, even in vaccination. The problem in vaccination is not the cost of vaccines. It is the, um, the registration of the target population. It is the, the, uh, the outreach how can you uh, outreach and uh, the, the people, the targeted people? So the awareness is very important in this uh, type of um, missions. The second issue, how to reduce the cost of the uh, vaccination. Um, uh, the cost effectiveness of the vaccination, of course the cost of, even if the cost of vaccination is very high, it, is, it deserves. It deserves to save the patients and the citizens from uh, the burden of diseases and the families. But uh, uh, according to the, the uh, HPV vaccination, uh, uh, we need to start uh, earlier. I think with nine uh, uh, age, it's very important from nine to 35 years old, but pre-adolescence is very important we need to start with, uh, with uh, young uh, children. We, we need to start with post genders. We need to work uh, uh, with, uh, with partnership with different organizations like WHO and Gavi. 
Gavi supporting the uh, low income countries, but uh, the uh, non Gavi supported countries, which is middle and high income countries, should receive at least, at least the price of Gavi. If Gavi will support the low income countries uh, uh, with totally free vaccines, then uh, the, uh, the challenges in low middle income countries is the price. So if Gavi can support the low middle income countries with the same price of, um, uh, of vaccines, this will solve a lot of problems. But again, the outreach, the registration of targeted population, the awareness of population, the political commitment uh, 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 will, uh, will uh, ensure the success of the missions for vaccinations. In Egypt, the high political commitment for uh, health care and education from the president of Egypt uh, uh, overcome a lot of challenges and facilitated the, the, the partnership with the, the international organizations. Uh, so uh, the cost of vaccine is high, but with support from WHO and Gavi, we can receive a decent price. Uh, and uh, the problem is not the uh, cost of vaccine, the problem is the registration of the targeted population, the problem is outreach for the population, and the problem also is the general or the public awareness about the importance to uh, go to, uh, to receive the vaccine if you receive single dose and then you will not, if you will not follow and, uh, and go another time to receive the second dose, it will be uh, abusing of the, of the money. So the, the community awareness, the public awareness, the political commitments, the registration and the outreach, then the cost from, uh, of the vaccines and the support from Gavi and from WHO. Thank you. Thank you, Minister. What about you, Dr. Mouviligi? What's your take on this? Thank you, Natasha. Um, before I answer that, I would just want to add one thing which I think it's worth to be added regarding our relationship with uh, uh, Ramamitai Hospital. Before the opening of the radiotherapy service, in the past seven years, we sent abroad um, 426 patients. This is not counting those who have been sent abroad through different mechanisms. And we believe those was only 20% of who actually needed um, that service because of budget limitations and so forth. So our greatest hope is with the opening of the service and working with uh, different uh, entities, uh, with RSSB and others, be able to do for much more uh, uh, of those patients. And we're working together to bring a precision technology um, that will optimize actually the service, especially for cervical cancer, which is called bracket therapy. And we hope, can I commit here, uh, Pacific, we hope by February, March, we can be having it uh, in service. So it's an opportunity to share with you. Um, and so back to your question. You asked your question in a very simple way, but it's a very complex question. So I'll try uh, to answer that as much as I can. Um, the, base, the, the, the closest example that I can, I can look at to answer that will be what happened with uh, reduction of cost into treatment of um, HIV. Um, so there is a lot of lessons there, but I'll just highlight a couple of them. Uh, one is bringing on the table the most concerned people, which is the patients, the mothers, the girls, who are actually affected or who have their future at stake um, through uh, civil society, activism, political will, and so forth, to really raise that voice up. That will bring other partners that are concerned, like pharmaceutical companies and others, to the table to discuss that. The second aspect, and uh, I'm not an expert in health economics or financing, so if uh, other experts that deals with uh, pharmaceutical companies are here, bear with me if I say something ignorant. Um, but I think the other aspect is what matters, I think, for some uh, pharmaceutical companies, there is a component of um, uh, uh, social responsibility, but first foremost, there is also a business. So we, they need to run 
the cost of their services and their R&D RD department and so forth. So when the discussion is happening, how do we work together with the global financing mechanism uh, to make sure that there is either patent for productions to low cost uh, 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 manufacturer. Uh, the other aspect is how also do we work with national programs to increase the demand through um, mass campaign as we are doing and, and so forth and put it into routine vaccination programs that we increase the demand and make the negotiations easier for lowering uh, the prices. So that, that will be my attempt. Thank you, Dr. Mubiligi. We'll now hear from uh, Ms. Wimure. What is your take on this? How do we reduce this cost? Right, so um, for me, I think as, as, as the previous speakers have really said it, so the reduction of cost is, is paramount and very important, especially for the, for the vaccines. But really, this applies to all different types of commodities and everything else that we need to use that are equally uh, important um, to be able to effectively prevent uh, the cervical cancer we are talking about here. So for me, I would look at it from, from three sort of steps. So one is really to understand what is it, the, the real cost, the real production cost of what is it that you're actually gonna, gonna purchase. If it's a vaccine, if it's a, it's a, a reagent, if it's a whatever that is, and really to understand what it actually, the real cost of, the real production cost of that. And then after that, to understand different markups that, that adds up to that to get it to the last consumer. So in the case of vaccine, then you consider the entire cold chain, the free, some, sometimes and most, most often, this, this, uh, these commodities you are procuring are, are, are produced outside of our country, so we need to bring them here. So the transport cost, everything. So there is a lot of costs um, that actually inflate that price. So it is key and, and, and fundamental for whoever that is purchasing, can be government, can be global fund, PEPFAR, whoever that is purchasing, to really have that full visibility of what is it, what are the different markups that, that, that are inflating the, this cost, and then go back to the table and ne negotiate with uh, with whoever that is producing it. And then when you have that, and really to submit it to the market and let it really, the, the, the competition come into play and see who is offering the best terms uh, and, and who is not. So for this particular program we are talking about, I, I really wanted to highlight one of the particular breakthrough. I would call it breakthrough with this program because as we speak now, and thanks to, actually it happened here in Rwanda, thanks to the collaboration with the private sector and some of the private actors, we have been able to leverage some of those um, uh, agreement or, 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 or move to actually reduce by half the, 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 the price of HPV DNA test. So as we speak now, we have actually started to do some procurement and so on. We are accessing it at a half price of what it used to be. So this is really huge. Then it means you screen uh, double of the people you was going to screen otherwise. So this was not going to be possible six, six months ago. And because of this move to work with uh, private actors and so on, then we sat on the table, looked at different terms, sheets and so on and so forth, and really have been able to benchmark really globally. Because so, the, 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 the price that is benchmarked to this particular commodity is now benchmarked for all other producers and in all of these other seven countries that we're talking about. So for us, this is how you can, this is one of a tangible example on how you really bring down some of the cost. And we are now into negotiations with some other producers and so on and so forth. But really, I would say that it is the very same philosophy that applies. But while I have the floor, I would actually like to, to probably ask some of the we like to call them scalers or other players, the global funds of the world, the papers and, and government, to really um, prioritize and commit resources to, to cervical cancer. Because it, it, can be, it can be eliminated, right? And it's a, it's a big co-infection to, to HIV. And we have seen what the market shipping has done in HIV sector realm. 
access to uh, uh, antiretrovirals and so on and so forth. So the same can apply to cervical cancer commodities. It's just a matter of making it a priority. You commit to it, you allocate resources, and then we will shape that market and make it affordable to the vaccines, to the commodities, reagents, treatment devices, and so on and so forth. So really a call to action. I believe it's possible, and I'm really happy we're discussing this at the sideline of ICASA and really talking about partnerships, because everyone have got um, an added value, a comparative advantage that we can bring to the table. Thank, Thank you, you Ms. Wimove. <laughs> Dr. Mugenzi, what's your take on this? Thank you. So this is uh, way out of my comfort zone, so it's no surprise that I will not provide any uh, magic formula. But uh, I think my, my addition to what's been mentioned, first of all, I think uh, uh, it looks like there are some other cases, success stories that we can build on so that we don't have to invent the wheel, as they say. But also, I believe that perhaps the solution lies in, uh, in what we know as global health uh, financing. And the issue here to bring out probably would be that these are the sort of interventions that look exp expensive, when, when look very costly when looked at in isolation. And in addition to that, the fruits are not, they're not immediate, so it's, it's a long term. So we need to put it in the context, in the holistic approach of, of management of, uh, of cancer in general, and perhaps that could help when you're bringing on table all the partners to try and see how that can be brought down to a better objective in the long run. Thank you. Thank you very much. We now have time for comments and questions from the audience. Um, kindly keep them brief and uh, on topic, please. Yes. If we can have a mic right here, front corner. Thank you very much, uh, Your Excellency. This is an excellent panel, and thank you for your comments and presentation. I just want to give a comment. I'm a doctor, I'm a gene broker, I'm a gynecologist. So, the good thing with this cervical cancer is, is one, because it's preventable, and you can eradicate it if you put in place good strategies. Uh, as we said, we have this pre-malignant vision, which can be seen from the beginning, and uh, we have also uh, the possibility of treating it beforehand. So my question is two levels of strategies. One, you need to have a, force, a workforce, meaning providers, who knows exactly what they are supposed to do. So meaning that when you talk about screening, because screening starts at early stage, and reaching Dr. Pacific's center is too late. So you don't want patient to go up to that, to that level. A second thing is to make sure that the population is very aware. Hmm? Because the Honorable Minister from Egypt was talking about culture. And something we get in our consultations on a daily basis is people there, they have a fear to be tested. So when you talk to them, even those who are supposed to be more knowledgeable, let us say nurses in the hospitals, that's a high level hospital, when you talk to them, they have a fear to be tested. And I think we need to start from that uh, education, that awareness, so that people from the beginning, they accept to be tested. And only that we can be able to eradicate uh, the cervical cancer. The preliminary screening can be done by anybody who has a very good training, just by knowing how to look at the cervix, just by knowing how to apply maybe any technology we are talking about today. And I'm sure that in the next 10 years, as we all committed, we can make this a history. So let us put our effort without forgetting the health providers and, uh, of course, making a lot of uh, effort in educating our population. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your intervention. Do we have another intervention or question? Um, thank you very much, Your Excellencies. My name is Dr. Moses Kitheka. I work for Japaigo. Um, 
The topic today is very timely and, you know, the right word is partnership. So I just wanted to add a word about the partnership to include the women uh, who have undergone the process. Uh, in Botswana, we partner with the Ministry of Health do an HPV study, which used uh, self-collection. And one of the lessons we learned is what the clients told us. They told us they preferred to do self-collection, not provide a collection, and they said it was good. And they actually guided some of them on and say, why do you give us this very cold thing, which you call the speculum? Why not use this system? So it's important to bring them on board. And the project was a big success. And because of that, the Ministry of Health and Wellness Botswana has taken leadership and actually incorporated and changed guidelines to include HPV testing is one of the testing modalities. So as part of partnership, I think it's to add the clients themselves who have gone through the process because they can inform a lot of um, how we do our programming. I think the second is a question is about um, HPV testing and the cost. I know you've talked about the HPV uh, vaccine, but there's still a lot of challenge about HPV DNA testing and the cost is still pretty high for most of the countries. So maybe good to hear perspectives about what can we do also to lower that cost. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Do we have another question from the audience? In the front, there's a question. Oui, euh, merci. Je suis le ministre de la Santé du Gabon. Euh, je voudrais juste donner une petite expérience au niveau du Gabon. Euh, et surtout souligner l'implication de la première dame du Gabon qui a fait euh, de la lutte du cancer du col son cheval de bataille. Euh, si bien que euh, le dépistage euh, chez nous est permanent et gratuit. Euh, si les cas sont avérés, Si les cas de, de cancer sont avérés, la prise en charge totale est gratuite. Néanmoins, c'est assuré par euh, la caisse d'assurance maladie. Euh, le no gardien chez nous, c'est surtout au niveau de la prévention, notamment le problème de la vaccination. C'est aujourd'hui à l'étude, mais je n'ai pas été satisfait par rapport à la réponse qui a été donnée sur les pays à revenus intermédiaires, parce que la vaccination aussi, aujourd'hui on sait que ça coûte cher, mais euh, le Gabon qui fait partie des pays à revenus intermédiaires est, tombe sous le coup de, 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 de cette euh, nature-là. Alors, euh, est-ce que vous pouvez encore nous dire quelque chose par rapport euh, aux pays à revenus intermédiaires dans la réduction des coûts des, des vaccins. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup, Monsieur le Ministre du Gabon. Um, for those who will need translation, his question was around um, middle-income countries having still high costs when it comes to vaccinations of, uh, to, of HPV vaccine. Um, he's wondering if, you, if one of you can elaborate a bit more on that how do we ensure that middle-income countries are accounted for when it comes to the reduction in, in cost? Who would like to go? Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you are talking about the uh, HPV vaccine only, um, in Egypt it's not a routine vaccine. Egypt is low, low middle-income country. But we try to, uh, to uh, enter this vaccine in our uh, program, and we discussed uh, in the last May and also in the last uh, uh, November uh, in this, from this year uh, with Gavi, how can the low middle income countries like Egypt can uh, benefit from the Gavi prize? Gavi supporting the low middle income countries. They provided the low-income countries with um, uh, the vaccine for free, but they receiving the, the vaccine with very low price. That's why we discussed with Gavi, and Gavi about uh, to, um, they consider this uh, issue in uh, their uh, board meeting uh, this month, and they will uh, um, uh, share us the results of uh, the, uh, the board meeting, because, uh, and they will advocate, they, uh, promised us to advocate the needs of low middle income countries because some uh, vaccines like HBV vaccine is not a routine vaccine. Uh, and we discussed also with Gavi the routine vaccines. How can we benefit from the low price of these vaccines? 
So the middle income countries, especially the low middle income countries, uh, need to do a lot of uh, efforts uh, to work uh, with the partnership with different organizations and from uh, their domestic budget. So from our domestic budget, we need to receive a decent price. A lot of uh, organizations also like UNICEF can support uh, the low middle income countries with decent price. So that's why with political commitment, with uh, good partnership with uh, different uh, international organizations, we can receive a decent price. Uh, the, the problem is not only the price, but the technical support. So we also uh, asked Gavi2 and WHO to support us technically to train our people uh, on the outreach and on supply chain management. Uh, it's not a matter of vaccines only. So uh, this is uh, the model that Egypt uh, are working hardly to, uh, to reach. Thank you. Thank you very much, Minister. In the interest of time, we will end this session here, the panel here. And um, please join me in thanking our distinguished panelists for the fruitful discussion. We have one more comment. Thank you. Uh, my name is Professor Sanait Saha, um, and I'm the uh, co-chair of the WHO's expert group on cervical cancer elimination. Um, as you know, the Director General in 2018, Dr. Tedros, uh, put cervical cancer elimination as a flagship initiative. Um, after he uh, did that, uh, an expert group has uh, been put together and a draft global strategy uh, was informed by extensive modeling and working group consultation, regional technical consultation with all the regions of the WHO and discussions of experts, civil society groups, and we have established a threshold elimination of cervical cancer. Um, and right now, cervical cancer incidence varies from 80 per 100,000 in high burden countries to about 10 in 100,000 in low burden countries. And we would consider cervical cancer essentially eliminated when the incidence drop to about four per 100,000. Uh, but the draft strategy also aims to control cervical cancer, not eliminate, but control cervical cancer by 2030. And for that to happen, there are a set of things that need to happen. And Rwanda is really on target to get there. And some of the examples are we need 90% 90, 90 of girls fully vaccinated with HPV vaccine by age 15. 70% of women screened with high performance tests by age, between age 35 and 45. 90% of women identified with cervical cancer disease who've been identified receive treatment. 90% of women screened positive treat, uh, treated for precancerous lesion, and 90% of invasive cancer case managed. So I'm really pleased to hear from the military hospital, from Butaro, from the government's initiative that Rwanda seemed to be again leading, just like we heard on HIV yesterday, really a model for Africa on how we may get to cervical cancer control by 2030. And I want to take this moment to acknowledge uh, the efforts of the government of Rwanda, the First Lady's Office in Bhutto Foundation, the Ministry of Health, and all partners to positioning countries in this continent to achieving this target. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you once again. You may return to your seats. Yes. We will now hear from Ms. Angeline Usanase to share her successful journey as a cervical cancer survivor. 
Please note that this testimony will be in Kinyaranda. Kindly use your headsets if you require translation. Madam Angeline Usanase, Murakaza Neza, Tkwishimie Kumvuham Nyabganyo. Banyacyubahiro muri hano bayobozi ndabashuhuje mugira amahoro y'Imana Ubundu mu mama uhagaze hano mubona meze neza ariko narwaye kanseri narwaye kanseri ndayikira Nafashwe muri bibiri na cumi na karindwi mu kwezi kwa cumi na kumi ubwo mu gufatwa nta mihango nari nkijya mu muramu nako nkuze ngiye kubona mbona kenda ko imbere karanduye biranyobera ako kanya nihuteye kujya mu kigo ndera buzima bama transfer yo kujya CHK ngeze CHK baransuzuma baturwaye kanseri ubwo mu mutwe bira birazunguruka kanseri ngiye ndi muzima bambwiye kanseri ntimugane ni wowe nteye kanseri ubwo ndamutonganya ubwo murumva aho nari ngeze nuko icyantabaye nuko hari umwana wari wamperekeje akamuhamagara akamusobanurira yewe byari byarangiye nuko banyohereza ibutaro ibutaro bamfata ibizame bamaze kumfata ibizame nyuma y'ibyumweru bibiri igisubizo ndakibona barampamagara ndagenda n'uwo mwana bampa igisubizo bambira ko ndwaye kanseri ariko itaragera kuri nkiri muri kabiri barampumuriza bati ushobora gukira ubwo ubwenge noneho buragaruka nuko noneho abana barabyakira nabo barampumuriza cyane nange ni ni nishyiramo ikintu cyo 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 kingarurira ubuzima sinakomeza kugira ubwoba ko uyu muntu agize ubwoba afite ni indwara indwara afite ntabwo ashobora gukira narabibonye nuko ndaburwa buri buri kwezi bakampa randevu randevu nkazikurikiza buri kwezi nkajya yo bantera ishinge bantera ishinge bageza naho banshiririza barabikora nuko giye ko nambona ndakize rwose ubu ndu muntu meze neza cyane meze neza rwose ye yego ariko kubera imiti umubiri ntubura utuntuzana ariko ibyo barabitwije barabidusobanuriye ariko numva ntacyo bitwaye gusa ni cyamfashije cyane nagiye nkurikiza ama regime cyane cyane nkarya imbuto ziri mu kigero cyo hejuru cyo hejuru cyane nuko noneho rero ndashishikariza ababyeyi ku kwipimisha kanseri bakayipimisha hakiri kare nibavuge ngo na mafumbi amafumbi nini ni inyoni guruka ni kirusinzi ndego nange ndi umunyarwanda byo byo amafumbi ndabyumva ariko ni ibiki ni abaganga barabyize bafite ibyuma bisuzuma abantu tugomba kujya twihutira kujya kwa muganga giye tubonye akantu ku mubiri kadasanzwe ni twi ni twi bagenzi bacu ngo baturoze ibyo byo amaroze tukabikuraho tugashishikarira gusa gusanga abaganga kuko numuganga y'umusanze yari indwara atashoboye aragusobanurira y'umuntu kandi kanseri ibaye imuvuye hakiri kare irakira irakira rwuze ubwo no ubuhamya ntanga ni ikiganiro nkunda kuganiriza abo tuba turi kumwe ubwo rero nkashimira guverinema yacu y'ubumwe 
nukuri twarateze yaradutetesheje yaradutetesheje pe nta iteka bicara badushakira igiteza aba abanyarwanda imbere ikibafiti yakamara paka kidushakira tukabaho neza murabona ko meze neza meze neza rwose kubera ubuyobozi bwiza ye nkashimira rero ministeri y'ubuzima nayo itahwema kudushishikariza kujya kwisuzumisha kadushishikariza kujya kwisuzumisha hakiri kare kuko yindwara isuzumwe hakiri kare irakira rwose burya na malaria y'umuntu ayijanye ayijanye kwa muganga byararenze ntabwo ashobora gukira e cancer rero rwose yeye kudutera ubwoba yeye guteye ubwoba kumva cancer ariko cancer irakira y'umuntu yisuzumishije hakiri kare umuntu akita ku mubiri we murakoze Murakoze cyane Madame Angeline kuhamya bwanyu. I now invite Rwanda's Minister of Health, Dr. Diane Gashumba, to deliver closing remarks. Excellencies, First Ladies, distinguished participants, I'm very pleased to be part of this very important discussion around the topic effective partnership in cervical cancer prevention. I would like to take this moment to really thank all the panelists because they touched based on everything from prevention, awareness, treatment, partnerships and innovations. I would like also to thank all the first ladies that have taken their time. They are here since two or three days to be part of ICASA, but also to participate to important topics like these ones. And I hope that from this gathering we build a strong partnership because as presented by the panelists, it's important to work together and I believe by collaborating with the country sisters, we can make the cost of uh, cancer treatment cheaper in our respective countries. Your presence here is a testimony of uh, your engagement around elimination of uh, uh, the cervical cancer. Allow me also to thank Madame Marisol Touraine, the chair of the executive board of UNITED and the entire team from UNITED for their investment around elimination of cancer through prevention but also management. Clinton Health Access Initiative is a great partner to Rwanda around this initiative, and I have no doubt that we will get there as a country, even if we are starting with only five pilot districts in Rwanda out of 30 districts. The fact that the cost is reduced will allow us to use our community health-based insurance, the Mutuelle de Santé, and scale up this initiative across the country. This is something we are committed to do. <laughs> Partners in Health, you've been with us for many years in very difficult moment, supporting a lot of programs from HIV, from uh, cancer, but most importantly, in strengthening our system. Thank you very much. I want also to commend the World Health Organization commitment around cancer. 
especially the co new commitment from the Director General, Dr. Tedros, who has put cancer among his top priorities and who has really defined the guiding principles we need to follow as countries to make sure that we get where we want to uh, reach. Rwanda has started this journey to eliminate cancer as presented by the panelists. I'm not going to repeat what they said because they were really very comprehensive, touching based on each single initiative. I'm happy to see here the mayor of Kigali City, and I want to take this opportunity to congratulate the city of Kigali because today they have been chosen as a, a cancer challenge city, among others. I think it's the first uh, city in Africa to be part of this initiative. And I'm happy also, <laughs> I'm happy to see the Minister of Local Government sitting here, and I want here to commend the President Kagame because recently he has postponed the signature of Imihigo. Imihigo is a, a performance contract because for him, social indicators touching lives of people were not enough in the contract we were about to sign. And recently, in close collaboration with uh, the Minister of Local Government, with uh, all social cluster ministries, we sat and added on key indicators that ha will change the life of people, that will have an impact on the welfare of people, and I want to commend this collaboration. Madam First Lady, we want to thank you very much as a sector, not only the health sector, but also the education sector. The involvement of your foundation around educating uh, girls and women has bared a lot of fruit. <laughs> By educating our girls, we now have very informed young girls who can take critical decisions on their sexual reproductive health, and we have stronger families. Thank you for your engagement. <laughs> to conclude, I want to touch base on um, something uh, the country director for CHAI has uh, mentioned. She mentioned the importance of knowing the cost of health services. It is very important that as countries, as um, partners, we know the real cost of the services we are offering. It's the only way we can sustain whatever we do. And uh, I was discussing with Professor uh, Senait on how we can, as Africans, go through pooled procurement and make sure that the pharmaceutical companies listen to us and reduce the cost of the cancer drugs. We've had that discussion, and I don't want to give a homework to the OFLA. I'm not allowed to do so. <laughs> I'm only maybe allowed to do so with my first lady. Sometimes we delegate some hard work to the Imbuto Foundation because we know they are very good at interacting with the communities. They have built a strong bond between Imbuto and our communities. So whenever it gets difficult for the Minister of Health, the Minister of Education to interact with our communities, we bring in Imbuto Foundation and things are very smooth to implement. So I, it's uh, just a humble wish that as um, uh, country sisters, we sit together and see how we can convince uh, pharmaceutical companies to reduce the cost of uh, cancer drugs. We've done this in Rwanda with Novartis, and thanks to them, they are now offering uh, drugs uh, for cardiovascular diseases, diabetes, and some types of cancer. So we are getting drugs at a cost of $1 per month, and uh, it's, it's something commendable. And I'm convinced that by sitting together, we can also make it happening for cancer. Excellencies, First Ladies, Excellencies, First Ladies, 
I want to conclude my note by thanking you um, for this moment, for this opportunity given to the Minister of Health and our dear partners. And um, I commit as a minister, together with my team, together with our dear partners, to make sure that we really work on cancer because it's not allowed that cancer remains a death of sentence in Africa, knowing that we have the required infrastructure, the commitment, and the drugs. And yesterday we had this African leadership meeting with our president. He's championing this initiative that is aiming at uh, investing more in health. And I believe that by reducing the cost of uh, cancer drugs, by reducing the cost of the budget that is dedicated to uh, abroad transfers of our patient, we can, uh, we can allocate this money to other programs. This is an example of something we can do as African countries. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Honorable Minister. Our session has come to an end. I thank you all for your participation and your attention in the important dialogues on cervical cancer prevention. Let me close by once again thanking all of our partners who made this session possible. Please know that there will be a group photo of our guests of honor outside this room and protocol will guide you. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain seated as our guests of honor depart. Thank you. Ina marerio ya vile kano muri Marriott imaze kujira kumusozo wayo aho bakara gashiko vishowa kaku kanseri inhonde mura ishowa kurandurwa ishowa kuirinwa kandi ishowa na kuvurwa higa chira muko tu maze kubijumva muhamia gumubji wa rumo gutangu muhamia vuka kuya vashaje gutira kanseri inhonde mura gusa agara gashiko kuko kuba umuhe abja chira viva bigoi ariko hicha kumeje kugarukwa ho nuko yiki kanseri inhonde mura hiyo muna imeni hachi rikare abashaku ifuza kandi agakira ikindi nanone nkuko nyeko ha Janet Kagame yabigaragaje yavuze ko abagore bafite ubwandu bw'agakoko gatera sida bafite ibyago byikubye inshuro 10 hugeranije nabandi byo ko bagwara cancer y'inkondo y'umura aha rero nyeko ha Janet Kagame akaba yagaragaje uruhare rw'imbuto foundation mu gushyiraho mu guhanga cyangwa se mu kugaragaza ibishobora gukorwa mu guhanga ubumenyi mu bijyanye no kwegera abaturage kurushaho kwegera abaturage ndetse no kubamenyesha ko bisuzumishije hakiri kare babashobora kuvurwa bagakira nuko madame Janet Kagame yabitangaje ubwo yatangizaga inama ku mugaragaro ikindi nano n'icyo kwishimira nuko umujyi wa Kigali nkuko bimaze gutangazwa na ministre w'ubuzima Dr Diane Gashumba mu mujyi wa Kigali watoranijwe nk'umujyi wakoze cyangwa se umuji ushobora gufasha abantu kwa bakwirinda kanseri ngo birumvikana na kanseri nkondo mura nayo irimo kuko uh, i sport rusange isanzwe ikorwa na nyuma yaho bakaba babasha gupima umuntu ibi bishobora gutuma umuntu ashobora kumenya ko afite kanseri akaba yakwisuzumye yakwivuza hakiri kare kandi kanseri nyinshi twabuze nyeye uko y'umuntu ivuje hakiri kare abashobora gukira abashobora kwivuza agakira ni byiza rero yuko umuntu yakwisuzumisha uh, atara atangira kugira imenyetso na cyane ko twumvise kuyo watangiye kugira imenyetso bo watangiye kugira ibibazo ikindi nanone minister w'ubuzima nawe asoje ashimira uh, nyako wa president wa republika kuba yarasubitse gahunda yo gusinya imi higo yuturere aho yasabye ko habanze kugaragazwamo yuko iyo mihigo ishingiye ku iterambere ry'umuturage minister ati bibya duhaye umwanya wo kwicara noneho tureba ibyarushaho guteza imbere imibereho y'umunyarwanda birumvikana nyine ubwo harimo nibyo kurushaho kumwegereza amakuru ajyanye n'ubuzima amakuru ajyanye n'ubuvuzi hanyuma nibikorwa by'ubuvuzi muri rusange ni munama rero yari rimo kugaruka ku buryo bwo kwirinda ndetse no kurandura kanseri y'inkondo y'umura birashoboka dufatanije duhanahana amakuru kandi nanone 
uwamaze kugira ibyago byo kuba wenda yarwariye kansere akitabwa ho twumvise yuko ishobora kuvurwa igakira kandi agahumurizwa kuko nabyo nyene arabikeneye turabashimiye rero dukomeza kubifuriza kurushaho kunogerwa n'izindi gahunda za televiziyo Rwanda twabasezeranije ko tuzakomeza kubageza ho uko izi nama zizagenda ziba aho bishoboka hose tukabasha nyene kuzibageza ho mukomeza kunogerwa n'izindi gahunda mu izina rya equipe nini ya televiziyo Rwanda twaturukumwe ndabashimiye ari kumwe nange ingabire EJDBB